making today, Robin? So today we're making baked pakoras. Oh, how come you're baking them? Aren't they typically fried? They are typically fried. Um, in our South Asian diet, a lot of the foods are quite often fried. But we can make them healthier by baking a lot of the things that we do fry. Like you can bake pakoras, you can even bake samosas, you can even pan cook dickies as well. So today we'll show you an example of a baked pakora. Awesome. So in this bowl, I've already thinly sliced my onions and I added a little bit of salt already. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just mixing this and this will help release the water out of the onions okay. and it'll help coat them evenly in salt as well. I've also sliced thinly like my potatoes and cauliflower as well and I'm gonna add them to my bowl right now too. When we're deep frying, the high heat cooks these vegetables really quickly. Thanks, Ms. Okay. Um, but when we're baking them, we want them to cook all the way through. So we do need to thinly slice them if we want them to be fully cooked. So that is a little bit different from when you deep fry it. So I'm adding my potatoes now. Okay, and I also have spinach here. I'm gonna just use my hands. Okay, so I just chopped my spinach as well. That's about a third of a cup of spinach. You can adjust the spinach if you really love spinach. You can add more, a little bit more, but not too much more because it also releases water. And you don't want that batter to thin out too much. I've got some cilantro here as well. And I'm gonna mix that together really well. So there's not really any spice in here yet. So I'm gonna add my black pepper because I was raised on a lot of black pepper in everything <laughs> I ate. Mixing that together. So now I've got my other spices and I've pre-measured them out in this little bowl. So what's in there? Yeah, that's a good question. So I've got some cayenne pepper that'll add a little spice. Okay. I've also got some cardamom pods. I open the pods and I ground it up. I have mango powder, um, which is called amjurun in Punjabi. I have cumin powder and I have turmeric as well. And once you start mixing this together, you're gonna get the smell of the pakoras. It's gonna smell so good. Wonderful. So I'm just gonna add it all in. Oh, got to get every bit of that cayenne. The next step in our little baked pakoda is in this bowl. We've got some chickpea flour and we have rice flour in here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to just add that in as well. I'm going to add it slowly. Is that what's traditionally used in pakoras? Yes, um, chickpea flour is traditionally used in pakoras and it's a very healthy flour because it's a good source of protein. Okay. So pakoras can be healthy, especially, especially for baking them. Mm -hmm. The rice flour, I've added just a little bit in the mix because that will help the pakora get crispy in the oven. Okay, so it's so dry. Um, and that tells me I need water and I need it now. <laughs> so I'm gonna just add that baking soda real fast, just a quarter teaspoon, very small amount. So I've got that in there, but it's super dry, so I'm gonna slowly add my water. Okay, so we've got a pre-oiled, I just, we just put some tin foil on here. Um, baking pan and um, we oiled it because we don't want the pakore to stick. So although there's no oil inside the pakore, we do need it to get a little crispy on the outside. So we're gonna just put them down in little clusters with our hands or you can use a spoon. And then we are gonna spray the tops with oil. Okay, so sometimes this gets a little messy. So I'm just gonna do this the way my mom did it. So little clusters, so Masuma, if you wanna sure. get in, you can help but just, it doesn't matter what size they are. Sometimes I find the bigger ones are easier to get off the pan. Just spraying these with a little bit of oil. Um, I've just added my own canola oil into this little can, so there's nothing else extra in it. Just lightly spray the tops like that, Masuma, okay. and bake them at 410 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes in the center rack. Then we'll take them up, we'll flip them, See if they need a little bit more oil and bake them again for 15 minutes and take them out. So yeah, let's put them in. So when it comes to baked pakore, these are ready now, you might notice that they don't feel as heavy in your stomach 
Because when we eat fried food, sometimes we have difficulty digesting it because mm -hmm. there's just so much oil in that pakora. But since these are fried, you'd probably notice that you feel a little lighter after them and a little less discomfort. So that's another positive of these pakore. All right, want to try one, Masuma? Sure. I'll try one too. Yeah. Okay. I'm still warm. Mmm. Mmm, they're crispy. I know, and that's because we did need the little spray of oil mm -hmm. when we put them on the pan, mm -hmm. and we did spray the tops. So that's what gives you that crisp. Mm, but they're delicious. Yeah, thanks. Mm. And nice to have it with chai, hey? Mm-hmm. We encourage you to try these at home and see how they match up to your traditional pakoras and how you feel after eating these guys. Mm -hmm.